Hey everybody, welcome back. Continuing on the Honda CBX restorations, the first thing you really need to do after you get the engine installed is to install the battery box, which I'm showing here, and the wire harness. Uh, the wire harness and the battery box are related in that you have to feed the wire harness through the battery box and connect a lot of the uh, all the connections uh, come together at the battery box. So I'm going to start off here showing you an NOS wire harness here, brand new in the package. And it, it if you have a bike that has a unmolested or uncut up wire harness, it can very easily be cleaned up and you know you replace some of the tape and so on and it and it can look like new but if you're going to go to the uh extent that i have on these two bikes it's just really nice to have a brand new wire harness as you can see here the wires are all beautiful the connectors are all nice and bright colors and so on so now granted some of those are connecting to older connectors but Anyway, I'm showing you one of the other bikes here that are un that's unrestored, and I'm just going to kind of point out the the uh, the routing that you um, have to run the the harness. So I'm pointing out the the main harness here that is connected to the frame with these uh, with these uh, straps. And those straps can easily be cleaned up and, and look like new again. But the but the routing is very specific on these bikes, as you can see here. They're, they're all wrapped with these uh, connectors all along the frame. And then, and like I had mentioned, they connect to the battery box right here. And all the connectors come together with, with all of the uh, sub-harnesses. And then the harness continues on to the taillight along here below the frame on the right side of the bike and back to the taillight. So this bike here is unrestored and all original and and uh, it, it's really nice to know exactly how the wire harness should be routed on the on the frame. So continuing on uh, it, it's really best to start at the front of the bike and you take the back portion of the wire harness that connects to the taillight and you feed that through the, through the triangular portion of the frame starting on the right hand side of the bike because there's a, there's a split in the harness, so it's kind of a Y intersection where you have two main arms of the wire harness and they split right there at the uh, at the steering neck of the bike so I always feed it in from the front towards the back and then when you get to the connectors that all connect up into the headlight then as you can see here the fat part of the wire harness goes on the right hand side of the steering neck and the and the thinner side of the harness goes on the left side as i'm showing here i'm i'm splitting the harness at the y intersection there and then running the the two portions of the harness on both sides of the steering neck so once you have that located you just let it you just let it dangle there until you install the headlight and then take the rest of the harness as I'm doing here and run it on the underside of the frame rails and cross members all along the, the frame of the bike all the way back to the rear section of the frame. So I've just got it dangling there underneath all of the rails and the cross members as shown here with the wires dangling. So to start from the front here, you'll see the wires dangling there and they're all ready to 
uh, connect up and connect all the rest of your items that have to go to the frame. And there's the Y intersection there. It just runs along underneath all the rails and cross members and then back here and I just kind of tie it until I install the tail light. Now all those color connectors, they should be on the right hand side of the frame, but they're but they're just dangling in place right now. So then once I get my straps cleaned up, then I'll then I'll connect this main harness to the frame as I showed on the unrestored bike. So here's my uh, my show bike here, and with all the connectors connected to the battery box as shown. And as you can see, they look really nice once they're all located properly and, and all of that. And that's why the routing is really important, because they, they only go in a, in a specific way. So as a bonus to this to this video, I ordered a set of Delcovic, uh reproduction CBX pipes. And, you know, CBX exhaust now has gotten so expensive that you can buy a, a brand new set of pipes for these bikes. And they're, and and these Delcovic reproductions are absolutely identical to the original factory pipes that came on a CBX. They sound the same and everything. The only thing missing is the actual HM422 or HM469 stamping on the pipes and the Sankyo, or uh, Sankyo, uh, uh, or Sankey um, stamp also. But as you can see here, the the pipes are just direct reproductions. They're beautifully uh, made. The chrome on them is beautiful. It comes complete with all the, the mounting hardware, the collars, the, the exhaust um, gaskets, all of the, the main collars that go into the head as you can see there it comes with the mounting brackets and it comes complete with all the heat shields and everything this is an absolute complete full set of exhaust and it runs anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars depending on the sales that they have and here's one of the collars that go up, uh, that bolts up to the head. As you can see, they're beautiful. Just a really nice, high quality set of pipes. So I highly recommend these. Now on my show bike, I've got NOS pipes on that bike, but NOS pipes for these bikes are very hard to find and very expensive. So if you're gonna have a rider or, or just you just want a really nice set of pipes, then these are a really great alternative. And on the next video, I'm going to I'm going to focus on installing the carburetors as I've got here. These have been uh, completely disassembled, replated and reassembled and rebuilt and ready to go. So. So I'll be doing that on the next video. And that's going to pretty much do it for this particular video on the wire harness. Uh, I'll have more on that on the, on the upcoming videos. But uh, thank you so much for watching. And as usual, please like, subscribe, and share. It really helps support the channel. And please leave comments or questions. I, I respond to all of them. So again, thank you so much for watching.